What's going on guys, it's Poison on here, hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm coming at you guys with a weird video. Uh, this isn't a top 10, I think this is more like a spotlight video of just going over weird assists that can be useful, but it's just very underused. So uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the upload. Without further ado guys, let's get right into this video. We're gonna go ahead and kick off this um, thing, I don't know what to call it yet. Uh, with uh, get off me assists. Now these are like very very vertical assists that are very very limited in use. They're really cool because people mainly use it just to regulate the other player in neutral and it's very very cool seeing people be able to confirm off of it. Uh, three people come to mind uh, if you guys are OG Marvel fans to Bazo which is a Firebrand Hulk Arthur player. You have Dat Hazy and then you have J-Dog. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some clips of them on the screen right now and then yeah I just really like this uh, style of play just because it is it, I don't know for me it just makes it more Marvel to ask when you're going up to them and then kind of like do something like that just to kind of have an assist try to catch out something um, but yeah let's go ahead and get right into the clips and then after that we're gonna get into some more assists bring it back but uh is really strong right now and that Hulk assist is putting in so much work for Tabasso. It is, it's, it's like Marvel Again, 2. Again, yes. It's like a commando. Really say, a get off of me, get off of me. J-Dog was able to get the initial advantage. Oh, also works better against Web Throw, apparently. With that, Spider-Man is probably going to go down. <laughs> and uh, Rock Mode pointing out that... So up next in our little spotlight is going to be Shield Assist. Now, there's only uh, like two main ones. It's going to be Nova and Modok. Other than that, maybe you could consider Shanko's Assist and Am Amaterasu's Assist as a shield assist but I'm mainly talking about these two. These are very very good for kind of pushing yourself in and also zoning and giving yourself a little bit more priority. So usually uh, if they throw a projectile that will stop it and then your projectile will kind of like go through. Not only that, I believe if you do very specific things you are able to combo into it. I mean this is like my extension that I found with Spider-Man. Other than that, you could definitely get creative with your own characters. But yeah, I think Priest used to use these type of assists. He used to use the Modok one. I don't know if he still uses it, but I know he used to. But yeah, um, I would show some clips on this. I really don't have any. It's just like something that I like. Another assist that you could throw in here is probably going to be Trish's assist because I guess it counts as a defensive assist as well. Just because it's like a means of putting something in like directly in front of you. And kind of waiting in that sense you could check out k-brad because i believe k-brad does still use his assist if he still plays because i know um, street fighters the rage right now but yeah um let's go ahead and get into our next assist and yeah guys next unorthodox assist i want to show off is going to be ayavagamaro now this is just a very very different assist from you know any other assist in the game you can probably say that it is like Chris's grenade assist, but we'll get to that right after this. I did want to put it in there with the type of assists that are like shields, but it really isn't that, especially because of how much of the hurt box there is. It is very, very good for not only regulating space, but it is really, really good for incomings because you could kind of make them block something in the incoming and then just open them up down the line. It is very, very cool. Speaking of, I'm pretty sure he has uh, synergy with Spider-Man. I think he can get Flames of Faultine. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think IPT Garrett is also one of these 
players you want to see if you want to see more uh, on Spider-Man Doctor Strange. He didn't use Ayabagamaro, but, you know, best user of that would go to I Heart Justice. Now in this matchup, he chooses to go with Mizzle. He does play all three assists and uh, bears are based on what he can do best. He did block, though. Only one piece of evidence for uh, I Heart Justice, though, gets caught with the Ayabagamaro. Yeah, and that's actually the, the secret to his team. That Captain America assist and the uh, strange assist makes you want to go in and stop him from getting effort. But then you just run into it and kill yourself. The champ had a life advantage, almost to confirm. Still does not have the three evidences, and Doom is dead! Okay, up next, as promised, it is the grenade assist. I don't know why it's called grenade assist. It's definitely a mine, but, you know, which is what they decided to name it. I don't know if it's the same thing. I don't think it is. Anyways, um, one of the main best users of this assist is definitely going to be Scamby, just because, you know, um, Scamby is one of the main people that made it popular. Um, there is one way you could combo into it as Spider-Man, but it is kind of hard. You have to get very, very fast blinks when it comes to this little combo here. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put up some clips on screen or a clip on screen of Scamby using this. And let's go ahead and get on to our next assist. Fall in the superior position. You don't want to let them fall above your head with a button unless you have like the swords out or something, and then you can punish them for it. Man, Scamby's looks good in these Wesker Wesker fights. That was a setup. It was a setup. Scamby knew it was gonna happen. Andre did not. That was amazing. He was expecting. Oh, the bridge has not counter again. Not quite close enough to follow him. Just um, catches his feet though. He yeah, doesn't want the move. He tried to up back. He tried to up back. Okay, now the last three assists I want to show off. One of them being Shocking Pink. If you're a, you know, viewer of my channel, you guys probably have seen this assist a million times. Next is going to be this pillar assist, and then after that is going to be the release one of Dormammu's spells. I feel like these assists are very, very cool. They're very, very situational. I think the pillar is the most applicable one you could probably use just because you can use it just to regulate neutral, and I think it might be good for incoming. Yeah, you can probably use it to lock them down. Um, I'm going to show off some combos with these. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because I am going to upload another video sometime soon. I'm thinking about it being top uh, odd assist me combos that you can do. It's just going to be like cool team hyper supers that are, you know, odd in synergy that a lot of people don't know about. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and enjoy the rest of the combos.